Today on Cravings, we're making the ultimate comfort food, chicken pot pie. Hi everyone, I'm Karen Ahmed. To make this, you can use frozen store-bought puff pastry or if you want a really good recipe for pie dough, you can head over to my channel at youtube.com slash cravings blog. I'm also going to put a link to this recipe at the end of the video and in the description. So you can prepare your dough ahead of time and then we're gonna work on the filling. Now the filling is really simple. I've got a couple of tablespoons of olive oil and it's heating up and to that I'm going to add half an onion that I chopped really fine. I'm just going to let the onion sweat and to that I'm going to add half a pound of chicken that I cut into really small pieces as well as some mushrooms. Now I'm using chicken thigh because I think it's a lot more succulent but feel free to use chicken breast if you want to. Next, we're gonna add some serious spices. I'm going to add a teaspoon of cumin powder, a teaspoon of paprika, and a teaspoon of sun-dried tomatoes that I've just chopped up really fine. I'm gonna give this a good mix, and I'm also going to throw in half a cup each of carrots and celery, and then I'm going to add a cup of chicken stock. Now, I usually make my own chicken stock, and so it doesn't contain any salt, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some salt to taste. Cover your dish and let this cook for a few minutes so the chicken and the vegetables get nice and soft. I'm going to follow that with a cup, half a cup of heavy cream and I'm just going to mix it. You'll see it gives the whole sauce a delicious creaminess. Next, we need to thicken it. I have a mixture of butter and flour, equal parts. It's called a bourmane. I always have it in my fridge. And basically, I'm going to break off a little piece, about two tablespoons, and I'm simply going to whisk it using a strainer right into the sauce. What this does is it prevents any lumps of flour from actually getting lodged into the sauce. I'm going to finally add a quarter cup of chopped parsley to this, and I'm going to leave it aside. While the mixture, the filling mixture is cooling, we're going to work on the ramekins. I've already rolled out my dough and I'm going to cut it into a nice round circle that's gonna fit the inside of my ramekin. I'm going to brush my ramekins with butter. I'm going to put the dough inside, a little bit of beans on top of it, and I'm going to blind bake it in the oven because I wanna make sure that the insides are well cooked. Once that's cooking, I'm going to work on the tops. I'm simply going to roll out the rest of the dough and I'm going to cut circles using a large cookie cutter. And I'm going to use a smaller cookie cutter to cut a little hole in the middle so the steam can escape. I've got a little bit of time on my hands. I'm also going to crimp the edges of the, the top so that they look really nice and pretty. Once my ramekins come out of the oven, they're ready to be filled. I'm going to fill them with the delicious chicken, mushroom, celery, and carrot mixture. And then I'm going to top it with the pie crust that I left for the top. And I'm going to brush it with some egg wash and back into the oven it goes for another 20 to 25 minutes till the tops are nice and golden brown. And you can see the filling just bubbling and coming out from the sides. And that's a perfect chicken pot pie. Thank you so much for joining me on Cravings. And I will see you next time. If you love my videos, please do subscribe to the channel. And also tell all your friends about it. Take care. Bye.